GPT function calling is the ability for a language model to run code that a developer chooses. Once a developer codes a function for a language model to code its own functions, it's just a matter of time before AI is the top G. Thinking back to prehistoric times when the ChatGPT website was first released to the public, we all remember that feeling of amazement that an AI chatbot could respond so intelligently. Now we have a GPT model that can decide when to run code based off brief descriptions to automate complex tasks, interact with our environment through robotics, and pull data from wherever we choose. In this video, we will take a look at a high-level overview of how software developers can use function calling to take the intelligence of GPT and extend it far beyond predicting the next best word. AI agents that automate complex tasks on the computer will no longer be recursive money burners that act busy while accomplishing nothing. Mission failed. Creating a real-world Jarvis is now just a matter of learning Python. Python is a high-level programming language that is best known for its ease of writing code. Python is an intuitive language that is easy to learn, but more importantly, the number one programming language for AI software developers. ChatGPT, Midjourney, and far more AI tools you use daily are just a bunch of Python code running on a server that you interact with through a website or a Discord bot. As a software developer myself, I took on the side quest to use function calling to create an AI automation agent that takes one prompt, generates an image in Midjourney, writes a detailed caption for an Instagram post, and then posts it to a test Instagram account. Now the question becomes, how do I use Python code to get my AI agent to go from get that shit out of here! to I will get started now? With the example prompt in mind and the logic written out for how I want my agent to respond to these types of prompts, I now need to write the code to run when GPT calls the necessary functions. I will give GPT two functions, generate image and post to IG. But before I worry about learning the new function calling API, I need to write the Python code to complete these tasks. So I created a script for each function. My generate image script needs to accomplish two tasks, sending an imagine prompt to Midjourney and then downloading one of the four generated images. For sending the prompt, I use the Pi Auto GUI library to automate my mouse and keyboard inside of the Discord app. To download the images, I wanted to make use of the Discord API to run a bot on my server and download the image after it has been generated. I could write my own code from scratch, or I could just yoink this code from this guy's Medium article. With the generate image script complete, I can now write the script for posting the image in a GPT generated caption to Instagram. Since Instagram does not have an official API, I again chose to use Pi Auto GUI to automate my mouse and keyboard to post the photo directly to Instagram's site. With both my scripts working as desired, I can now write the code for interaction acting with the new OpenAI function calling API. The most important part is setting up the JSON data to pass to the function call model so it can understand what my code does and when to use it. I give the functions an easy to understand name, a concise description of what the code will do and when to use it. Lastly, specify to OpenAI that the functions can take data as a string for input, again giving an easy to understand name for the input variable and describing what GPT should be trying to send as input. I can specify that the input variable is required to run the function. With the function's dictionary complete, I can pass that to the GPT 3.5 Turbo API in a call and also pass a system prompt explaining the guidelines for how to use those functions and lastly specify the user's prompt input for the API call. I'll have the program check if the response from OpenAI was a function call and if so, run the function call from OpenAI. Since it will require two function calls to create our Instagram post, I need to create a second call to the OpenAI API which will send the current conversation state and allow GPT to realize the image was generated and now it can run the post to IG function to complete the task. Now if everything works as planned, the second response should be calling the post to IG function with a GPT generated caption based on my original prompt input. After hitting enter on the prompt, the scripts proceed to create the image and then go upload it to Instagram and then type the Instagram caption without me having to click or do any of the typing that you are seeing on screen. Upon completing the the task successfully, it will print the cost of the task. As you can see, for the cost of one penny, we can get about eight of these tasks. This program will obviously not create the first AI Kardashian, but it does show that by providing two rather basic Python scripts, we can successfully turn them into automations that a GPT agent can use to create much more than a text response to a question. We'll get them next time. 